Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Um, today I want to talk about dealing with fear of college. I'm focusing on the parent here, what the, they're afraid about the kid not doing well at college. Anyway, especially if school hasn't been your or your child's thing, the upcoming school year may feel scary. Well, the following composite that's drawn from my clients uh, describes a parent's worry about a college-bound child. He was pulling teeth just to get him to apply to college. I still remember him saying, I don't give a crap about quadratic equations, the causes of the War of 1812, let alone all the mail bashing. I hate school. Truthfully, Mom, also, I'm not good at school. Why should I even be masochistic and opt for more, for college, where the work's going to be even harder? I'd rather do an apprenticeship. But my husband and I have graduate degrees, and we felt he should get more education. So we pushed, and we pushed, and he applied, and now has completed his first year at the State University of New York at Oswego, although we're afraid that he's majoring in partying and minoring in weed. He's threatened to quit, but has agreed to return for his sophomore year. We've tried everything. We've offered him bribes for good grades. We begged him to use the tutoring center, and we're paying for the whole thing, although we had to take out loans. But we're afraid he's going to be one of the 40% who don't graduate even if given six years, let alone get a job beyond barista. Help! Well, here are my suggestions. Do you think he'd be better off with some hand-holding, or if you let him sink or swim? An argument for hand-holding is that maybe you could help him find courses and extracurriculars that are more likely to turn him on. An argument against the hand-holding is that he may be rebelling, establishing his autonomy, and the more you push, the more he'll rebel. Which do you think is more likely to work with your child? He's at a college in the middle of nowhere. While isolated colleges do provide plenty of extracurriculars, many rural colleges still are a hotbed of drinking and drugs. While not true, it's easier for kids to say, oh, there's nothing to do in Oswego, than if they were in New York City. Would your child benefit from being at a college closer to home, or even, and I'll bet he'd resist this, spending another year or two living with you and commuting to a nearby college, maybe a community college where instruction tends to be more concrete and less rigorous. Finally, is it possible he's right that he would do better in an apprenticeship program? I understand that with you and your husband having a graduate degree, that may be disappointing, but one size doesn't fit all. Some people are happier and more successful starting life in an apprenticeship program. Maybe you might invite your child to explore Find an apprenticeship. If you Google that, it's on a federal, a federal uh, website. It's, but just find, it's Google fi Find an Apprenticeship. That would restore your child's agency, make them less likely to rebel, and just possibly find an apprenticeship that's a more likely route to success and happiness. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.